from TolerateCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create this kind of title. Alright, so it's a really cool title that you actually see in a lot of vlog kind of videos and it's actually really simple to create but you just have to know how we can do everything in Adobe Premiere Pro. So open up Premiere Pro and let's start creating. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and as you can see right here I have my titles um, all set up in layers. So let's delete this and we'll start off with my video. So my video is a time lapse. Um, that's a cool way to start off a video. Um, so a short time lapse. I didn't have a lot of time here. Um, but if you have time, um, yeah, make sure it's actually a nice time lapse because this one is actually um, not my best one. But yeah, that being said, let's create a new item right here and we will be creating a title. Here we can give it a name. So I will give this uh, title my main title. As you can see right here, I am working with a 60 FPS sequence in full HD square pixels. So just choose uh, your project settings. It should be uh, automatically. So click OK. And right here we can actually add our title. So I will choose my type tool and click somewhere over here and write in caps, so holding shift photography and I'm going to be using a font called Lado. This is one of the fonts that I really like to use um, and then I'm going to change the font style to something like regular and then also change my size to make it a little bit larger and also uh, position it right over here and just make it as large as the width of uh, the first title sequence here. So there we go. I have something like this and I think this is looking alright. Then with the arrows you can actually do some minor adjustments to the position. I think this looks okay. Maybe I'll change this to um, semi bold and just make it a little bit smaller here. And there we go. And I will close this down. Then I will place my title right here on the first layer above my uh, video. But as you can see mostly when you do these um, yeah, snapping titles, uh, you do them on the beat, so just listen to your audio first. Right here you can see the beat starts, so I'm going to press M on the keyboard and that will make a marker here on my audio file. And if you zoom in, it's not placed correctly, so I'm going to Ctrl Z. And actually on that beat, I'm going to place my marker, so I'm going to press M here. And then listen to the beat. Right here right here my second um, beat is actually hitting so I'm going to press M over here as well and I know that right over here I also have my tag so I'm going to press M on, on here as well. And actually right here at the beginning you can see that I, I didn't place my marker well um, it's actually on the video. I'm going to place it on the audio like so and then I'm going to place my main title at the first marker and it's actually going to snap so if you don't see it snapping press S on the keyboard if you don't see that go to sequence snap right over here and make sure this is actually checked on and then you can actually see that it's going to snap to that marker make it as large as you want your title to be so I think it's going to be until the end of your video then I'm going to click on my main title and then just uh, copy and paste it so we have a duplicate of this uh, title I'm going to rename this to um, subtitle 01 open this up and then I'm going to write my extra text. So um, I'm going to choose my text tool here, change this to vlog, actually also in caps, vlog. And I'm going to put this below my photography right here. And then I'm also going to change my size to something small and change it to maybe, um, let's try something like heavy italic here and position it like so and see how that works. Also do some minor adjustments with the arrows uh, so it's actually fitting nicely um, in yeah on the length of your uh, P and this is looking alright so I'm going to keep it as it is right now and I'm going to close it down and I'm going to drag my subtitle 01 also on the second marker so that's uh, actually right here no nope. on a layer above my other title also make it as long as your uh, as it needs to be and then I'm going to do it one more time so click on your subtitle control C control V rename it to subtitle 2 and then double, double click on this and just uh, go to the text tool here and change this to 001 maybe and actually if you script through the time uh, where you can actually see your both titles you can actually move this 
um, while seeing your other titles as well so you can actually um, edit it this way. Alright and then again with the arrows you can move it around and actually if you want to you don't have to um, but like if your background is a little bit bright you can click on your text and add a little bit of shadow right here so um, if we close everything down with the properties and the shadow right here we can actually add a soft shadow of 35 uh, with a small angle and then you will be able to read your text a little bit better and you can actually do that for all the text and if you would have done that before uh, you would actually um, you can actually copy it each time and then uh, it's going to be easier um, but if we go back to that subtitle 01 let's open that up go to shadow here actually click on it <laughs> shadow um, also change the opacity to 35 and then also for the main title I'm going to do the same thing click on the main title shadow 35 and then we just have a soft uh, shadow which is going to make uh, our text a little bit better to read and then also drag my second subtitle here to the second well the third uh, marker right over here and then if you're going to play this back If you want to check only this area you can press O on the keyboard and I on the keyboard where you want to start and then you have a selection like this and go to sequence render in to out and then you're going to render everything out and you will be able to play it back real time. And actually I decided to use my second subtitle on the second beat and then the other one a little bit later right over here and if we play this back it's going to be a little bit better. Alright, so there we have it after a little bit of tweaking and listening to the audio and placing your t subtitle actually on the correct spots because I'm actually making this tutorial. Um, it's a little bit harder to actually get into the moment. Um, but just listen to your audio, make your markers, put your text wherever you want them to be, render it out. And there you have it, so I hope you enjoyed it, if you liked it, give it a like, also subscribe to the channel for more, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.